welcome art people. I want to say thank you for returning. This is the love readings for you Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for supporting my channel. If you would like to see the extended to each and every person individual readings, um, you can um, pick up the super extended readings in order to get these uh, um, extended readings. Sir, so, heart signs. What do we see here? We see the fair male and uh, we see friendship bonds. So, um, this month of September is going to be um, creating a lot of friendship bonds. So, um, fair people, Caucasian people, I see a lot of friendship bonds are going to be created in relationships. So, what is going to be transpiring is that a lot of you Caucasian may be in a relationship for fair-skinned people. Um, you are going to be affected um, by this um, love reading in the month of September. So, we're talking about the blonde. We're talking about the reddish hair people. Brown um, hair or uh, people. Okay, you men are going to be significant. Um, and you're going to be creating some sort of a um, spiritual bond with another person. So let go and let God, whatever is transpiring, there is a spiritual resolution to everything. So whatever you male fair people are going to be having to deal with whatever issues and that sort of a situation, let go and let God, there is some sort of a reason for whatever is transpiring. There's a lot of friendship. A lot of friendship could become lovers. Um, a lot of you could be meeting new people through um, your friends, okay? I see a lot of uh, friendship bonds is going to be created. So let's say um, um, you meet people through friends. I see you're going to be compatible. You're going to be feel comfortable. You're going to be feeling as if these uh, um, relationships or friendship that is coming up in your world is... Uh, like as if you have known these people for a very long time. And some of you are going to be having an, a, this sort of a friendship that is not really intimate um, friendship or marriage. But you're going to be creating some sort of a bond in order to resolve and uh, keep you going. So, so, so. So what we have at the basement... We have the energy of love and some sort of a news is coming in from the soulmate or twin flame. Some of you could be um, having some sort of a issues with your marriage. Okay, so um, if you're in a relationship and you're married, you could be having some sort of an issue, some sort of a regrets. Something is coming in that is going to be creating some sort of a regrets um in, with your relationship or with your marriage so be on top of your game whatever is transpiring and happening just be on top of your game this is going to be very very important so what we're seeing is that some sort of information is coming out um information if you're in a relationship with a libran you're going to be finding out something about a libran okay so um, be aware of this and be on top of your games. Then we see a situation where I see you're moving forward. Um, some of you have met someone. The relationship is going good. This relationship is going to be a common uh, relationship of marriage, long-term stability. So some of you have been dating, have been seeing someone. And this is going to be a positive relationship that is going to be coming up for you that is going to be changing some sort of a, um, 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 way. It's as if you have been dating this person. There is a lot of chemistry between you and this person. This relationship is going to become a marriage relationship. Then we see the crowning of your month with love. is about opening and working on relationships some sort of information is going to be coming in some of you are going to be standing your ground and it's going to be expressing yourself okay so 
um whatever is happening i see some kind of a good response some of you are going to be standing your ground and um telling people exactly how you feel okay so there could be some sort of a issue some sort of a situation i see you're going to be really standing your ground and letting people know um not to get over your your um your um it's as if people are walking over you in a relationship and i see you're going to be standing your grounds okay communication is going to be very key in relationships and whoever is meeting anyone communication is key in relationships and marriage for you guys so then we see a whole lot of you are overcoming some sort of issues um some of you could be um some of you ladies could regret a situation um regret a relationship that you're in regret being in a relationship regret uh, um having to deal with someone because there's a lot of conflict so i see that some of you who are in a relationship with um fair skinned people like caucasian or mix of cast people and that sort of a thing prefer to be in a friendship with this person and not in a relationship whatever is transpired some of you men are going to be having a whole lot of conflicts with your relationship conflicts with friends and relationships some of you friends are going to be intervening in your relationships so you got to be aware and stand your grounds because i see a lot of complication is happening to a lot of you relationships because of people intervening outside influences that is intervening in your relationship so you need to know and you need to let people know how far they can go sometimes it is good to call um i love someone who um can help you out instead of you speaking to your friends because sometimes uh, um you know communicating with your friends and telling your friends things about your relationship can even make it worse sometimes it's good um to call on um a coach there's a lot of coaches that people can call on you don't have to need a reading but call on a coach um if you're having issues with your relationship i am open for it that is what the call line is for is that if you're having relationship problems and that sort of a thing you can make a call and you can call um so that we can discuss things because sometimes people um speak to their friends and tell their friends things and their friends will use it or if your friends is jealous of you they will create issues in your relationship and i see a lot of you capricorns or um turning towards your friends but these friends are creating some sort of a relationship for your really some sort of problems in your relationship so you need to focus on if you're really having an issue you know go to someone a someone who a relationship person someone who does love reading so um these lines are open for calls and you have three different calls it doesn't matter what is about if it's about relationship it's better that you call someone who is not involved and who is not close to you so you can discuss what is going on in your relationship and they should, can show you the red signs that is coming up okay so what we're seeing here is that we see um some of you could be connected in a relationship and you're having a lot of fun communication is good i see you're communicating clearly and i see whatever issues that came up in a relationship i see these issues are going to be fading out because communication is going to be the key and um whatever is coming up it is going to be as soon as it comes in you clearly um resolve this issue and i see um whatever the conflicts is you're definitely going to be overcoming these conflicts so then we see information is going to be coming out some of you are going to be finding out uh, some sort of information is going to come in and some of you are going to be finding out that a sagittarian is in love with you or if you're in a relationship with a sagittarian you could be finding out something about this person i see some of you a sagittarian is going to be letting you know that they're open for some of res resolution so if some of you had a relationship with a sagittarian or ex this person could be coming back 
and want to work out things with you. Some sort of a positive communication, but also um, some of you could be having some sort of a conflicts uh, with a Leo or with a Sagittarian. A whole lot of conflicts uh, that is going to be coming up. So relationship with Leos is not really one of the best relationship because there's always conflicts because the Leos are always... Uh, um, you know, overpowering and using their powers in a relationship. Capricorn people do not like that. Capricorn people like relationship that is based on 50-50, respect with a relationship. And I see a Leo, um, some of you are going to be having a lot of um conflicts with a Leo because this Leo is trying to use their power and overpowering you in the relationship. And you're not really accepting that. I see a lot of you are going to be open to work on a relationship, especially you ladies. I see some sort of a news could be coming in from an ex-husband or an ex-partner. They want a new start with you and it's up to you if you want to um, take this um, new start. Because I see if you're a woman and you say no, I see this person is going to be... Um, regretting okay some of you um are regretting some sort of a relationship that you had with an aquarian so um whatever is transpiring some of you ladies was having some sort of a, a relationship with an aquarian you regret this you 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 are regretting um the situation because it's creating a lot of conflicts you just want to be friends with this person but this person wants more out of the relationship a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. Um, and I see a whole lot of you are communicating. You're really enjoying yourself. You are dating someone and you're very comfortable with this person. You're enjoying yourself. A whole lot of conversation is going on. You are learning things about this person and this person is learning things about you. Then we see the energy of... Uh, um, a whole lot of you are open to work on a relationship. It's as if there was some sort of a confusion or there was some sort of an outside influence, but now it's as if you're open. I see a lot of you are going to be standing your ground and it's going to be healing some sort of a relationship, marriage relationship. So people who are having issues with your marriage, I see you're going to be communicating. Communicating is going to be the key because whatever the issue and the situation that is coming up in your marriage, I see you're definitely going to be communicating and true communication. You're going to be overcoming um, these um, issues and problems that is going to be coming up. A lot of you ladies regret regret some sort of a situation, some sort of an information is going to be coming at you. And, and it is as if... Uh, a whole lot of conflicts and, and you're going to be standing your ground and see you ladies whatever is coming up with your relationship you're going to be standing your ground and it's as if no i'm not letting no one roll over me okay this is how it's going to be this is what i want this is what i'm looking for so it's as if some of you are going to be pestered or some of you is going to be constantly texting backwards or forward and some of you are going to be like listen why can't you call me you're always texting me what is the reason why you can't call me? And I see some of you are just going to be fed up from just texting back and front and thinking, yeah, what is the reason? Why can't you call me? I mean, call me and we can discuss this so, or find some time to come over or however this is transpiring. A lot of conflicts that is going to be happening and it's going to be affecting the Caucasian and light-skinned people. A lot of conflicts in your relationship, a lot of regrets that is going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be um, like ending a relationship and said, yeah, you know, it's best that we be, be friends. So a lot of um, you Caucasian men are going to be seriously reconsidering um, your, your, your relationship and being in a relationship. You're really going to be considering if this is what you want. So I see a whole lot of this uh, is going to be coming up and transpire. We see that um, some of you are going to be really, really um, getting involved and, uh, um, you know, meeting new people and feeling good. Whoever um, you meet, like in a second week, um, is going to become a marriage partner. OK, so be aware of this. So a lot of you are going to be finding out um, 
some sort of information about a Libran. A whole lot of information if you're in a relationship about a Libran is going to be coming out. So be aware of this. Um, whoever is dating at this moment, I see you are happy. I see things are going good. Um, I see that, um, you know, at the end of the, the year, um, someone could be asking you the end of marriage, um, which is a really wonderful and really positive. Um, some sort of a information is going to be coming out. Okay. And whatever the information is coming in, I see some of you ladies uh, are going to be regretting that you had an affair. So if some of you ladies had an affair, I see that this is going to be coming out and some of you are going to be regretting that you had ever connected with this person. Some of you had an affair and uh, um, I see some of you men who had an affair is going to regret it. You're going to be regretting that you have had an affair or you had ever got in a relationship um, with an Aquarian or you ever told an Aquarian about another earth sign who you were dating. So it's as if some of you people could have been in a relationship with an Aquarian and you told the Aquarian or you told this air sign person about another person that you were dating. And um, this is going to be causing a lot of conflicts and a lot of confusion in your world. And this is it. Sometimes it's better not to say, um, you know, what you did with your um, ex-partner or say what you did with uh, um, your partner before because it can create a lot of jealousy and I see um, that a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of a jealousy um, that is going to be coming up because it's as if uh, um, you are saying you know um, you know when I was with this person some of you who had an affair um, some of you could have had an affair with a Libra whoever this person is and I see truths are going to be coming out about you and this Libra and it's going to be creating some sort of an issue in your relationship at this moment. So be aware of this. So then we see some of you, some sort of information is going to be coming out. I see some of you, um, um, a Leo, some information about a Leo is going to be coming out. And whoever this Leo is and whatever that was transpiring, um, you are going to be like shutting it down. It's as if no, um, let's not recap, recap this sort of a situation. It's as if, uh, um, a Leo is coming back and said, Hey, why don't we get together or why don't we, um, collaborate or become, um, like a partner? And you're going to be saying, No, I don't think this is the right thing to do. Or no, I'm in a relationship already. Or no, but, um, I see some of you men. Um, could be saddened because of uh, some information that came out about you having an affair. So some of you men are dealing with an issue where there's some sort of um, information that is going to be coming out about an affair that some of you men have. It could be a long time ago or it could be an affair um, that you have kept under the wraps. And it's as if your partner is going to be finding out uh, and it's going to be like, you know, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me that you had a, an affair with this person? Or why don't you, why didn't you tell me that you have some sort of a connection with this person? So I see this sort of an energy is coming up. And it's as if you Capricorns are saying, yes, but it, uh, you know, I, I might have gone out with this person or I might have seen this person two or three times, but it wasn't anything serious. And I see whoever, the other party is it's going to be quite upset that you never mentioned it. But I, I seriously think that if it was just someone who you went out with and there was nothing and, you know, there was no intimacy, you don't have to explain this to anyone. I think that uh, um, if you, you know, saw the person, maybe you went out, you saw the person or um, maybe this person came up or however, um, it happens. I don't think you or, um, you should say anything as a matter of fact, because I think that is something that is in the past. And I see a lot of, uh, a lot of things from the past is going to be coming back and, um, a lot of situations. So some sort of information. Some of you could have been seeing someone from the past and uh, this person may be reconnect with you and, uh, 
um, your partner is going to be realizing that, oh, there is some um, more to this um, situation. And I see that some of your women are going to say, yes, but um, this was just, I just saw this person. They're in love with me. I wasn't in love with them. I ended the relationship. I didn't want to have anything to do with this person. And I think um, you have all right whether or not you want to discuss something from the past or not. And I think this is where um, other people should respect certain things. Because I think that sometimes you meet people and, you and you know, this is a situation where sometimes you have to kiss a whole lot of frogs before you reach to your prince. And whoever this prince is, he's jealous. Okay, so a lot of you are going to be dealing with... Um, prince or princesses that is really jealous because i see um some of you men are like if only i kept my um my mouth about this situation because it's as if some of you men were seeing someone and had connected with someone and then all of a sudden it's like you know you were in this position you're saying hey but i know that person i used to see that person and so and then your partner is going to finally get upset upset that you had never said anything and is going to be feeling um and creating issues that is not there and you're going to be like yeah but you know there was nothing going on so i see a lot of you have to like explaining yourself and a lot of you have to be like Jesus, you know, if only I didn't say this or some of you said something and then your partner and you're like, yeah, well, if I never said anything, it was better that I never said anything because then we wouldn't have the, this sort of a situation now. So I see as you come to the end of the month, like a lot of you Caucasian and a lot of you young people are going to be like sudden that you open your mouth about a relationship that you had because it's as if now your partner is putting like pressure and is being very upset. It's causing a lot of confusion and a lot of conflicts. And you're like, next time I just keep it and, and don't say anything. And this is it. Sometimes we wonder, um, People like to know everything about your past, but sometimes it is better to say less um, because if you had not opened up, uh, um, this person would not be so contagious and, you know, like, yeah, why didn't you say anything in this sort of a situation? So I see that this sort of an issue could be coming up, so be aware of this. So communication is definitely going to be the keys um, relationship people who are in marriage are going to be finding out something whoever is married um, you're going to be finding out some sort of information that your partner um, did not um, you know you weren't aware of it could be that your partner is having some sort of an issue and didn't um, let you in in what was going on with them so you know it is as if your partner kind of closed you off and there is no one else. So if you feel as if your partner is just going on with some serious um, issues that could be coming up from past relationship or just issues at the workplace. So issues with a situation with their business and that sort of a thing. So the, don't take anything personal in this month, basically, when it comes on to your partner and a relationship. But I see marriage couple is going to be going through a kind of a situation where some sadness, where... Um, you're not understanding what is happening to your partner. And this is why I always say, ladies and gentlemen, cross watch. Cross watch to find out um, what is coming up. And be a member of this channel because YouTube is changing up. And like uh, information, sometimes because people who are, and you know, there's a lot of people who I have that are super members. And they're super members because... Uh, they get the extended of all the readings, okay? Super members get the extended of all the readings and all individual readings. So um, this comes up with a collective, collective readings for the earth sign people, but super member have like their individual readings. And this is why it is good to become a member of the channel because it's just like a dollar ninety nine or um, for love readings, you have to become a super members in order to receive the love readings. So be aware of that. But always just 
cross watch cross watch and see what's coming up for your partner cross watch because there could be some outside influence that is going to be affecting a lot of your earth sign in this month and it has nothing to do with your relationship with this person but it's that they're going through some sort of an issue on the outside so it could be um issues that is affecting them at the workplace so so I love you guys, whatever it is, communication is going to be the key in your relationship as always, but like this month is just going to be extra. A lot of you who are dating someone, you're going to be ending up marrying this person. So just take it slow, take it one day at a time, enjoy, um, try and find out everything about this person before you um, um, jump um, into something else. So just be aware of what is happening. I love you guys. Please like and share these videos. Namaste until next time.